So you might be trying to figure out how you can go through and basically enable Gemini inside of your Android phone. Now, if you're on a Samsung Galaxy, you might be trying to figure this out too. And there's a couple of different ways to do this. Number one, what you're going to want to do is you want to download and install the Gemini application that's inside of your Android phone. So go and make your way over to your Play Store, click on the search button, and all you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and type in Gemini. So you should be able to type in Gemini just like this, and you want to go ahead and install it. So the, once it's installed, you're pretty much good to go. What you're going to want to do then is you want to go ahead and basically open up this particular application. Now, as soon as you open it up, you'll see a couple of things. One, you'll see if, if you want to subscribe to, you can click on not now, and then you'll come into the Gemini application. So now you're basically almost good to go. So now what you can do is you can go through and you can use Gemini as you normally would. If you click in the top right corner, you'll see a couple of new things. You'll see Gemini, you'll see all these other things too. And then you'll see at the bottom, you'll see settings. If you want to tap into your settings option, you can go through and you can modify your settings. You can do all these other things. But then there's a couple of other things here. If you want Gemini on your lock screen, you can click on Gemini here and it will automatically use Gemini without unlocking. And you can go and use Gemini on your lock screen. Depending on which type of Samsung phone you have too, you should be able to go through and modify your assistant. So if you go and come into here, if you type in assistant just like this, you might be able to find like a digital assistant option. If you're able to see it, you want to go through and see if you can change your Gemini option into you know this particular option. So that might be another particular thing that you might want to look at as well, because that'd be a really, really cool thing you might want to go ahead and kind of think about doing here too. So that's basically how you do it. As you can see, Digital Assistant is right here. Then you can click on Digital Assistant app and you should be able to change it to your Google one. And from there, you can also change it to another way too. So that's basically how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, hold on.